this is our mini series of containerized biogas plant. So I'm going to explain about the process. So let me start here. This is our pre-processing section where we have a shredder and a small sorting table and we have a slurry tank, all integrated in one single skip. So the waste is dumped here. So you basically check uh, the feedstock. If there are any other uh, foreign matter, or metals or paper, or plastic it will be removed. Then the waste is pushed inside the shredder. And, uh, we have water to do the flushing here. And also we have an automatic water uh, inlet line which will take the required amount of water to prepare the slurry and push it inside the uh, slurry tank. So once the slurry is filled there, we have the feeding pump. This is the feeding pump circulation pump, what you see here. So from the slurry tank, the feedstock is fed inside the dike So what you will see behind me, the green color containerized type of uh, Digester is the main digester. On the top you can see the manhole, you can see the feed line there and the gas holder on top. Now to improve the efficiency of the uh, system, we also have the mixing. The mixing is achieved through a recirculation system. So let us see how the recirculation system works. This is our feed line from the pump. And uh, you can see the line which is coming in. This is the line which is uh, sucking from the slurry tank. And uh, the waste is now being pumped. This is the delivery line which goes inside the digester. Now when I close this valve, it will go into the circulation mode. And you can see the circulation inlets here. You can see the circulation point here. One, two and three. So the three different points because it will be mixing in three different zones. So this can be either on the side or it can be in the front as well. And this will ensure there is a proper mixing. And the same pump is used for feeding as well as for recirculation. So this recirculation is done for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes in a day. And you also have the sample point here. So this is a sample wall. So we can check the uh, digestate uh, or the substrate condition inside the digester. So we have the sampling point, so we can take the sample and we can check the pH and the other parameters to see how the digester is uh, functioning. The digestion, the digestate comes out, you can see here, and then it goes to the drain. And if you want to use this as an organic nutrient, we can have a small separation process which can separate solids and liquid to get the liquid manure and solid manure. Liquid manure can again be used for preparing the sludge. Oops. This is our post-processing uh, section. The white pipeline, what you see is the biogas outlet from the digester. Now this comes to the post-purification section which is inside this cabinet. I'm going to show what is there inside this cabinet. So the first part is the uh, moisture trap which will uh, remove the moisture. So if there is sufficient moisture build up, you can see a white line, pipeline going down. Just open the wall so you can drain the water. Then the next one is the dry scrubber which will remove the hydrogen sulfide. We also have a booster compressor which will increase the uh, outlet pressure so that you get a very consistent pressure to the cooking stuff. And we also have the smart biogas flow meter where the flow is sensed and all data is in the cloud. So we can get continuous data and uh, once we key in and we can check how much was the gas flow on a particular day, how much gas was consumed, all this information are put on the cloud. So 
smart oil gas is the complete information on the gas condition. So all these things are housed inside and you can see the outlet from the booster is connected to the gas car. This is the single burner gas car. So where uh, we can do the cooking. So you will have multiple configurations, two burners and three burners depending on the capacity of the system. And here what we have here is the control panel. Integrated uh, small sleek control panel where uh, you can manually operate the pump, the shredder and uh, as well as the blower. So everything is quite compact and you can see the entire plant is built within an area of about uh, uh, 5 meters and which is about 1.8 meters so it's quite compact plant which can process around 100 to 150 kilograms of food uh, waste per day producing about 8 to 10 cubic meters of biogas per day.